going to point out some of the major features of the external brain. The large structure that has many folds in it is the cerebrum. The cerebrum has two hemispheres that are separated by the sagittal fissure. The cerebrum is uh, divided into five lobes. There's a right and left frontal lobe, a right and left temporal lobe, right and left parietal lobe, and of course a right and left occipital lobe. The right and left insula are located in a little folded region right here and lay on top of the diencephalon. Moving uh, back, we're going to find the cerebellum. Again, it is uh, divided into a right and left hemisphere, and it is separated from the cerebrum by the transverse fissure. Turning the brain around and looking uh, at the inferior surface, we are going to find the brain stem, and it's easy to locate the medulla oblongata, and then the pons, and you can just barely see a little bit of the midbrain just above my finger. The diencephalon uh, is even uh, harder to uh, detect on uh, the external surface. You see just a little bit of it right here around my finger and you see the, ex the extension from it which is of course a pituitary gland. The cranial nerves are represented on this model by white lines. Um, I'll go ahead and just point out uh, the first two. So this is right and left uh, olfactory nerves, cranial nerve number one. And then cranial nerve number two, which is the optic nerve. Here's one and here's the other. They make a crossed structure called the optic chiasma just in front of the pituitary gland. And in that chiasma, some of the fibers that are uh, leading from the right optic nerve uh, go into uh, the left side of the brain and vice versa.